so we're going to do uh, the other side of the wintry divider now. So all I've done with this, I've just gone around the image, just torn off the edge bits of paper and inked it. And on the one um, that I did before, I've the words that I tore off the bottom, I've just put at the top and I've dangled a little owl from there. I haven't found the little crystals yet to put on there, so... That one is just about completed now. So this one, I am going to do something a bit different. I'm going to stick the image in the middle and then I'm going to use these threads and I'm just going to put them different sizes all around the edges and border it with these different threads and see how that turns out. So I'm going to stick down the image first of all. I'm going to use Fabri-Tac this it doesn't matter if my glue comes over the edges because I am to be gluing all the threads on so this could get quite messy no doubt okay so I've got several different kinds here and I'm just going to just open them out choose randomly which I use some white and I've got some of the greys as well. <clears throat> Sparkly bits and all sorts in there. Perhaps ought to have cleared my desk first before doing this. Might have been a good idea. Okay. Scissors. Right, I'm just going to, let's have a look. Do I put the glue down first? Let's choose some threads first. I need to try and make sure they're different lengths and textures next to each other. No matter how you try not to tangle these up, they always get tangled up. These are what I use for my um, uh, tassels. Go with those for now on there. <clears throat> I think I'm going to stick one colour down and then do infills. And I'm going to use Fabri Tac. I'm going to have to work quite quickly, I would think. I think if there's anything overhanging, I'll just remove it after. I've got 
got no idea how this is going to turn out. I think what I would do is, if I've got any big gaps, I will fill it in with some flowers. <clears throat> It'd be easier just to fill a whole, whole area. Just dab it down, perhaps like so. Yeah, that's probably going to be a better way of doing it. <laughs> and everything is now going to stick to my fingers. Sorry, caught my head on it. Sorry if I start, I get lost in what I'm doing sometimes. I'm sorry, I forget to talk. Perhaps you don't want me talking. I talk too much. that's taken already oh I'm getting so stuck up <laughs> let's use a bit more of this because this is quite a good filler that's Okay, so we'll just
this glue is driving me mad, sticking to everything I touch. Those flowers up at the top there. I'm just going to use fabric like I think for all of these. I think mix medium is going to be too much. Quick of flowers down there. down here let's do maybe a cluster I'll just move some of that over there uh, let's see sat at my desk a long time today my back is absolutely killing me now I may do that I just need I don't like that bit of some colour or something or just something to break that up a little bit I don't like that at all and I've just had another thought I'm not really sure how I'm going to get my hole punches on here now <laughs> I have these bright ideas don't always think it through That's quite nice. I like that there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right. Let's see. I think I'm going to do. I'll dot the fabric tack on there. Like so. And then I'm going to 
put the fabric tack on there, like so. This really is a throw together. <laughs> making it up as you go along for sure there, and, there. and then our flower on top take some of the glue off here because it's the only way I can get it off. It's easier to get it off your fingers that way if you get a lump and then it pulls all the little pieces off. Okay. That's glue off fingers. Going to dab a little. It's actually oh no, I thought it was stuck. So a little dab there and push that down if I can. Stick there. That's stuck. Let's see what happens when we lift that. Up. That's not bad. Okay, it's, it's different. And I think then around my little edges I can just dab a little bit of <clears throat> excuse me just to take off the stark edges of the black there just have any bits of poking through on the edge there and for some I've got to get a whole punch on there oh dear I think this one could be done with scissors perhaps <laughs> we'll see And then I'm just going to do the same just on this bit of glue bit up here just to take out any really dark bits. Or if there's any glue that's gone really onto the image. Oh gosh, I've stuck my fingers to that now. Let's <laughs> see. I'm just going to pop a little tad of glue under there, there and stick that down there. It's hanging off. And then I'm going to stop touching it because I keep pulling bits off. So that is the back of with the back of this one. So there's the two and then they will go as so for our next divider. So the only thing I have to do now, which I'm going to do, I'm going to do it all done, is make a little tab. So I'll just put those to one side for a second. Uh, tap. And instead of painting it this time, I'm going to use the buffing stuff. And now I've lost my, my stopper for my glue. I'll need that in a minute. So buff, I'll just put away. I'll do this one silver buff. I 
remember to do the other side as well this time. Okay, and now we need a eyelet. I'm going to keep the eyelets, even if I use a silver charm, I'm still going to keep the eyelets all these little ones. These are the only ones I have in this size, so I don't mind mixing my metals at all. I'll pop that on there. Crocodile and I want the small hole. And we want it in the bottom corner. I'll go close to the edge, but never mind. It's done now. That's fine. Washer on the back. And then... Put them there and give it a really good squeeze. Okay, so that is the tab that we're putting in between. That will go a bit further down than the last one. Let's just have a quick look because I don't want to put it in the same place. And then we're going to glue these together. So again, right around the edge. And up the middle. And then, which I had a horrible feeling I'd done that upside down then. And then you've got time just to maneuver them so that they line up. I have put the tab on the wrong side. Not a problem, just move it because we have time with Fabri-Tac. <laughs> Thankfully, we have time with Fabri-Tac. <laughs> Let me just... That's lovely. I'm pleased with that where it is. Press these right down together. Any little bits that you want to add on to this, it, like I want to do the eyes of the stag when I find the little crystals, that can easily be done, um, even though they're together. 
that's nice because that all those wispies show on this side, which I quite like. And that is our next piece. I'm gonna a little dab of glue there and stick that down onto that. I'm really pleased with how that's turned out. It's all stuck down. Well, it's all holding. And um, we haven't got too much excess glue on the edges. And um, the only other thing now I want to do is just put a little bottle. Have I got any spare ones? I've got one here. I'm going to, what am I going to do with this one? I'm going to snip some of these off. Put them in the bottle. Little crystals. Some more sparkle. Sorry, am I off camera? There. And then... Just going to glue around the lid. Push that in so it seals. And then I'm going to oh, move it on the outside this time. I'm just going to put a tiny bit of sparkle on the outside of the bottle. And it's very sparkly. I stuck myself to the bottle. Okay. And then I will just make a loop for it with a same as I made them before. Let's grab the tools quickly. So snip the end off, curl the top. sure it meets snip it off get the pliers and I'm just going to push that down into the center Oh, I've got so much glue on me. And then with a silver. Put that on there. And that's our next divider done. 
and turn that over. See if I can get the holes to punch into it. Tip our pages over. And then just by eye, I do it. Pop it on there. Put a small marker on. using the whole punch actually I'm going to use the crocodile because I'm hoping I might be able to punch the holes with that um, there. and Open up and we have success. And that is our next divider in Enchanted Forest. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you again for the next instalment. Bye!